Welcome back, and I've got an unusual experiment for you today. We're going to look at how different surfaces of materials give off infrared heat. And to do that, we're going to use a piece of apparatus called a Leslie's cube. And then all you do is just put your drink down on the bar and you leave it alone. I'm not sure you expected that to happen, and neither did I. So, let's try and explain what's happening. Electric fields apply forces to charges. Why does putting two transparent things on top of each other do something so strange when you turn it through 90 degrees? But before we start, you'll notice that Laika the dog's not with us today. She's off on another one of her world travelling missions, and more of that at the end. Now, I'm sure some of you have noticed that on a really hot day, black cars feel really hot to the touch, but they also feel very hot when you get close to them. I remember hiring a car in Florida many years ago and it was painted quite dark and when I left it out in the sun it was almost impossible to get close to the door, the whole thing felt so hot. It had been absorbing radiated heat from the sun really well, but even at a distance it felt really hot. And this is about emissivity, how well a surface gives off infrared radiation. And it's that I want to look at today with the Leslie Cube. So, here's a Leslie's cube. It was invented by John Leslie, uh, a physicist from um, Scotland in about 1800. And what he made was a hollow metal box. So, what we've got here is a copper box. It's important you know that this side is uh, sort of polished copper, and all the other sides are painted. And what we're going to do today is look at how well different surfaces emit heat from the cube. So, let's get this working. So the first thing I've got to do is boil a kettle, and then what I'm going to do is fill it with boiling water, and then we'll measure the amount of radiation, that's infrared radiation, coming off the different sides. Right, so the kettle's just boiled, so let's take the lid off, and what we'll do is put the boiling water into the Leslie's cube, and I need to fill it up to the top. There we go. And then I'll stick the lid on. And what we'll do is we'll measure the temperature, or at least the infrared radiation, coming off the different sides. Right, so we're ready to go. So let's move the kettle out of the way and bring the Leslie's cube in. So I filled this with boiling water. And what's important that you know is that every side of the cube must be at the temperature of the water in it. So all the sides of the cube must be just under boiling. Uh, you can put a Bunsen underneath it to keep it boiling if you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the amount of heat radiation, that's infrared, coming off each side of the cube with a little infrared thermometer. And I put a little bit of wire on here to make sure that I always measure from the same distance to make it a fair test. Okay, we're ready to go. So let's measure the heat or the infrared coming off at a fixed distance. Firstly, from the uh, black matte side. So I'm gonna put the thermometer on there, press a reading, and it might be a bit difficult for the camera to see, but um, it's 87.4 degrees centigrade at that distance. But the bit that will surprise you is, let's do the metal side, the unpainted side. So, turn on the thermometer, put it at a fixed distance, the same distance to make it a fair test. And again, I don't know if you can see, 28.6 degrees. That's a huge difference. Just check that again. I've got 87.0 from this dark black side, and I've got... 29.4 from the metallic side. Now that's going to take a little bit of explaining. But just before I do, there's one experiment I'd like to do, which uh, all teachers do, and I think, uh, including myself in the early days of my career, I think we get wrong. We spend a lot of time talking about the colour of the sides. 
So let's see if that makes a difference. Um, and I'll just read out the readings to you if they can't be seen on the camera very well. So the white side of the cube has just given 84.9 degrees. So 84 degrees. We'll do the black side of the cube. Well, 85.0. So the white and black, almost no difference. Let's quickly do the copper one. And that's 29 degrees. So what's interesting is the colour doesn't seem to make a difference, but it seems to make a difference if it's painted or it's bare metal. Now, before we dive into a quick explanation, uh, something um, you can ask your teachers to do, or if you're a teacher, you can um, show this to your pupils. You don't need one of these, okay? You don't even need thermometers. Just get the Leslie's Cube and line it up so on one side you've got the metal, the bare metal side, and on the other side you've got the painted one. And as long as it's safe for students to do it, get them to put their hands at a fixed distance. And they can even close their eyes. And this side, for a fixed distance, is much hotter. I feel much more heat coming off it. So I know immediately that's the dark side, the black side of the cube. Right, time for a quick explanation. And I won't go into too much detail because the physics of this is quite tricky. But what we're looking at here is an object. And you've got to remember that every side, when you touch them, is at the same temperature. But different surfaces give out heat better or worse depending on what the material is. And this is about emissivity, how well surfaces emit radiation. And what Leslie's Cube has shown us is that the material in paints, these are the molecular paints, give off infrared or heat radiation way better than the uh, atoms in a metal that isn't painted. And this is all to do with the fact that the electron structure in a metal is different to that uh, in a paint. So, if you want things to give out heat very, very well, a black paint surface seems to work much better than a shiny metal surface. Oh, just before we uh, finish off, um, I wanted to point out that the radiators in my laboratory are painted black. Um, I'm not sure if that was done intentionally, but I think it's rather nice that they've been painted with a high emissivity material instead of being left bare and as a rough or even shiny metal. So in fact, these give out the heat way better than they would if they hadn't have been painted. So I hope you enjoyed that experiment and learnt a little bit about emissivity, the ability of different types of surfaces to give off infrared radiation. And you didn't fall into the trap that some of us have done over the years of thinking that Leslie's Cube is about the difference between white and black surfaces giving off heat radiation. I think we've shown it makes, in this situation, almost no difference at all. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you again next time.